I'll tell you what would be quite nice for a lesson, actually, girls. A winter's morning at Limpsfield Grange, the country's only state school for autistic girls, where the world is lit a little differently. Yes, my little buttercups, you're wonderful. <laughs> I'm different. Um, I see things a lot differently. We can just share our craziness. You I'm think. the octopus girl person. <laughs> we all just know what it's like to struggle, which means we're a lot more accepting of anything, really. Who would like to share their guess what? Today's lesson, creative writing. The girls choose their own topics. Social isolation. Oh, I get that a lot. How can I not know that? And I get that I get that a lot as well. Oh. Social isolation, anxiety and mental health problems. Issues these girls, most of them only 15, have already lived with for years. Autistic boys are frequently identified when they're toddlers, but not girls. Walking the dogs, part of a therapeutic environment where the girls can just be themselves. Kezia and Felicity are bright, ambitious, and now studying for their GCSEs. But at mainstream school, they just couldn't cope. Day after day, Felicity here would run away. She was close to a breakdown or worse, and no one could explain why. How do you feel when people don't understand you? Oh, when people don't understand me, I feel really annoyed. And like, try you just listen and laugh. It's frustrating. Yeah. Since she was four, Felicity's mother suspected her daughter was autistic, but each time she brought it up, she was dismissed. It wasn't until last year that Felicity was eventually diagnosed. My mum was happy because my mum had been waiting for it for like 14 years. Since when I got diagnosed, then she was like, yes, I've finally been proven. To get into the school, because even when Kezia was tiny, she could sense she wasn't quite the same as her friends. I knew that I was too different to be normal. And every time I tried to say that, just people wouldn't listen. And it was just, oh, everyone's unique and all that, which is rubbish, actually, because there are people who are more unique and need help. We've got Kezia's claim to fame here with... Um, At home with Kezia's mum and an all-too-familiar story. No one would believe Kezia was autistic, even though it runs in her family. Her older brother had been diagnosed age six. Kezia's mum says life had become intolerable. She was in such a dark place beforehand. She just stopped eating. She was heading towards self-harming, that kind of thing. If she hadn't had somewhere like Limsfield, um, I think there's a very real possibility she'd be dead. All they'd needed was a doctor who knew what to look for. He said, well, she's clearly on the autistic spectrum, isn't she? And this took three years. Yeah. Ten minutes. It took ten minutes of somebody who knows what to look for. After three years of hell. It was an answer to all the things which I didn't understand. Because I didn't understand why I was always out of lessons and why everyone else could cope with it, but I couldn't and I didn't understand why I said things certain ways and I acted certain ways and I heard things certain ways and this was just why. You weren't feeling great, were you, at that time? From the experience that I've got of, of working here, when I, get, um, when, I, when I see young people who've not been identified until they're 14 or 15, often there has been um, really significant mental health difficulties. Quite often there's, there's a high level of self-harming or eat, an eating disorder alongside, because I think what the girls have been trying to do in the way that they do so brilliantly is they've just been trying to keep it together and then they get to the point where they can't and, it, and they break. From school to the real world. <laughs> do you want to go with puppy? As autism in women is increasingly being recognised, more are getting diagnosed in later life, like Carly Jones, who's now a proud and happy mum. Ready? Go. Ready? But life's been tough. She left school pregnant and with no qualifications. Later, she developed an eating disorder. Shall we try something 
feeling less dangerous. It wasn't until she was told her daughters were autistic that her own challenges suddenly all made sense. Age 32, Carly found out she's also on the spectrum. I think a diagnosis is an absolute privilege and I know some parents might be thinking, oh, you know, I shouldn't, should I get them diagnosed yet or is it a label? You're going to get any other type of label and I think if you're diagnosed at 32, you've had every single label coming at you, um, to have the correct label is amazing and to be able to realise all of these differences, they're not deficits, you know, um, and now I kind of look back at it and think, you know, I felt always felt like a second class person. Well done, Cherry. But times are changing. Carly's Lego mad youngest daughter was diagnosed age four. She'll get the acknowledgement and support her mum never had. Neuroscientists say the number of undiagnosed autistic females in the UK could well be over 100,000. We need to go looking for the lost girls, the girls who might need a diagnosis but haven't had one, because I suspect that they're often excluded from school. They may be uh, in prisons or young offenders centres. They may be living homeless. They're vulnerable and misunderstood. And what every teacher here at the Grange knows, autistic girls can be identified just as young as autistic boys. We're just missing the clues. I mean, boys get identified at the age of two or three. So why aren't girls? Uh, I think because we're looking at the wrong things. In a maybe ten. I think, you know, even young girls bounce through things that they're interested in really quite fast, don't they? Whereas actually autistic girls will really love it for a really long time with, with an incredible intensity. That means this is the only thing that they're thinking about. Jump up, kick back, whip around and spin! <laughs> and when we do recognise the signs, autistic girls can thrive. As a job, I want to work for Ledo mm -hmm. and I want to be a Ledo designer. And I amaze my mum and dad with my computer skills. These are like the, some of the most amazing people I've ever You're met. Really, really close. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Open that door. Yes, go. Oh my God. Walk out. It. Yes. I opened the door. Yes. En route to the next lesson, just enough time for some fun. You go. Oh, oh, well oh just go. go. Just go, oh just go. 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 Like that Kesha song when I leave for the night. Teenage girls with autism, accepted and understood, at the only school in the country specifically for them preparing for real life and the world outside.